Alright, what's up guys? It's me, Pokytune 7 and today I'm here with the tutorial. I have a stream in like 15 minutes, so I gotta get this going. So, basically, when you open Source Filmmaker, you'll have this screen. So, there's name, directory, frame rate. So, the name, it's basically what you want your session to be called. It's really, it can be whatever. They should only be letters. So, I'm gonna have mine as tutorial, and then this is where it's gonna be saved. You don't really have to worry about that. And frame rate. This is basically how like how smooth the animation is gonna be. How many frames per second the animation is gonna run at. The lower the frame rate, the worse it'll look, but the easier it'll render. The higher the frame rate, the better it'll look, but the lower the the harder it'll render. If you get what I'm saying, sorry. This is the highest you can make it. If you SFM can't handle really high frame rate, do 24 or 30. I always start do 48. It's just my thing. So, all right. So you'll get to a screen like this, no map loaded. So what you should do. So one thing I want to say, your thing might not look like this. Yours might only have one primary viewport. Secondary view viewport. What you can do is you can come like to Windows. And there's secondary view for it, and then you can put it wherever you'd like. There's options, but let me just go with this. So this is where you can import models, lights, cameras, particles, all that. And then let's. This is where you can load the map. How you load a map is right click and then press load map. So this is how your um thing will be. This is how it'll be. How you download maps and models in Steam. Uh, what you do is you come to Steam, you go to Source Filmmaker, you press Workshop, and then here it's all the new mo maps and models. Um, you can you can find like videos on how to properly do that. And then what you do is you go to um, you can choose a map or model. If you want to have a black void, it's like a map that most animators use. Press Workshop and then come to All Mods. And then there's like some maps that the developers made themselves or from TF2. So I'm just gonna press Black Void. And let's see, let's let it load. Sometimes it'll take a while. So you might like most maps. It'll be like this. So nothing's wrong with the map. All you have to do is right click and then press enable lighting, and then you'll come to this screen. What you want to do is you want to press this button and then press set new camera, and then there's still it says no camera. What you do is take this and grab it and put it into the screen. Now there's camera one, camera two. What you can do is you can press this. If you press it, it comes to work camera. This doesn't affect the camera at all. So say the character's facing behind you, behind the camera, you can come to the side and edit it like this. It's basically just like to help you with your animation. So now what this so you can't do and you can't like move your camera or you can't move models in the timeline. This is just for editing the clips. I'll talk about that in a different video. But today's all about animation. So I this is for making the animation. But let's start. We start with here. You should always start with the graph. Uh, it's the motion editor. This is the it's the middle button. So now how you import models? Like I said, press plus new model. So these are all the like TF2 models. If you have all mods, I'm just gonna do workshop for now so I can get like a model to use. You know what? I'm just gonna use um withered ready let me just get a withered freddy model say let's just use this model all right so so the model we're gonna use so what you can do you, you bring the camera in to move it w a s d is to move it w is forward s is back a is to the left d is to the right a z is to go up x is to go down and you can if you put your scroller wheel if you scroll it inwards it zooms out and you go and scroll it backwards it zooms in and this stuff you can worry about later we're not gonna really worry about that now and then now let's just put it somewhere like right here oh if you hold R and turn your cam your mouse left it'll move the camera like that and hold R move the cam camera to the right it'll move it to the right like so let me just go okay now you can move the models how you do this is you press control when you press control you can see all the different bones so what you want to do you want to press control and then press the bone and then let go now so what will happen is you'll most likely start with this or this so if you like this what you can do is you can press this button this button is to move it and then these two buttons are to rotate it this is for more comp like more specific movements and these are for more loose move not like movements but like loose posing like you can move this freely 
if you want to move it in a degree. So I use the, I like alternate between these two. And say you don't want it to have an arm, you want it, the hand to be missing. You just press this and then you just, boom, it's gone. So you can just like do that. So now to the posing. You can press control, press uh, spine, you can move it however you want. Don't press this, it's like the same thing, it makes it like go up. So you can move it however you want. And then now this, the you can just like pose however you want. So when you see when you move this, these two are connected. That's how you, that's like lock in. And then now you, I'll just bring it down, move it. Some models will come with this, a microphone, some won't. And then I'll just bring this down here. And then the neck, I'll press that. I'll like move it here. And then the head, I'll just like do this. No. I'll maybe move the camera a bit because, so yeah, so the whole body's showing. So now what you want to do is animation right so that's what you guys are really interested about so what you guys want to do is you want to come here to the graph editor and then you'll see this don't mess with any of this stuff here this like there's like dark here and then this white strip is your scene i recommend putting like a few frames in and then pressing b this splits it and then you bring the blue thing and you bring it to where you stopped it right here so this is the only thing you're animating. See, if you press this, this is how many seconds. This is how many frames. You can also double tap this, and it'll come to seconds. That was three seconds, all right? So now, press this. What you do is you press, so let's just move the neck. When you press the neck, there's this that pops up. This is a keyframe. This is what helps you move your stuff. You can also create a keyframe by pressing M. So now, if I move it, put a few keyframes, and then move it to the left, and then move it a key frame, few, few keyframes, move it to the right. You can see how it moves left and right. If you want to make it a little slower, you can move these out. And now it's a little slower. See? That's how the animation works. And that's basically for all bones. You should always press M right before you start animating. Because if you don't press M and then you start animating like this, how like you were doing... There isn't a beginning frame, so it just starts like it starts with like out here. So a beginning frame is like before you start your animation. So if you press M and then you do it here and then here. Now it does that. See, it's a little animation. That's how you move it. So if you want to play it, press spacebar, and that's how you play the animation. You can uh what I normally do is this is what I normally do. I'm just gonna if you want to delete all keyframes, press the model right here, up here, right click the timeline, press set all, and then right click it again and then press delete. Something I do is I instead of using arrow keys, I use the space bar. So I have this to set and then I space and then stop. Like that. That's how I normally do it. Just mess around with that, and that's how you do it. And if you want to move the camera, what you want to do is you want to come here. It's the same thing. There's a keyframe over here. These are different types of cameras, like settings. You can mess with those. I want to really get into it right now. If you want me to, I will next video. So it's the same thing. You can move the camera, and when you move the camera, it also changes where the thing is. See? With that... That's how you animate the camera and the body. There's also the little specific things. You can animate like the eyelids, the eye, the eyebrows. For these, I don't recommend using these. Like for the eyes and for eyebrows or eyelids, I recommend you using the rotation one. So this one will be more accurate. And then with the eyelids, it'll be more accurate when you use it. So that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial if I have one and have a good day.